Welcome to part two of our series on four classic milky coffee drinks specially designed for specialty coffee. Now what is specialty coffee again? It is the premium grade coffee, mostly from all over the world, 100% Arabica single origin coffee. Now when you're making specialty coffee drinks where you use a very, very special blend of coffee, then you have to really make sure that the taste of the coffee stands out. Today, I'm going to show you ice versions of these classic coffee drinks and we are going to use single origin 100% Arabica coffee beans and this time I am using medium rose. For ice drinks, you need stronger coffee. That's why I'm going to use for each of the recipes two shots of espresso, about 45 to 60 grams of espresso. Let's talk about the size of cups that you will use for this drink. I would recommend that for specialty coffee beans, you go 12 ounces. I think that you reserve those 16, 22 or grande and venti cups to Starbucks. Don't forget that iced coffee are meant to be desserts, so they have to be a little bit sweet. I'm going to make four versions and some of the versions will be using my milk syrup. I call this milk syrup. This is a combination of condensed milk or sweetened condensed milk and evaporated milk. For those that do not have evaporated milk available in their country, or maybe because it's very expensive, you can also replace the evaporated milk with half and half. So condensed milk and evaporated milk. Now, because I want the coffee taste to be stronger, I would like to make use of a 50% sweetness level. That means 50% condensed milk and 50% evaporated milk. And I'm also going to use fresh milk. Now, I'm using here a local brand, Jersey. This is available in the Philippines. You can use any milk brand of choice. You can even use plant-based uh, milk, which is now also getting popular. And um, also, we are going to make use of a milk foam. I have now pulled all my espresso shots, 18 grams of coffee beans in, and I came out with about 40 to 45 grams of espresso. So each one is about 20 grams of espresso here. And now we are ready to start assembling our drink. Starting with flat white. My version of flat white is to make this no sweetness at all, just the milk sweetness. So I'm going to start by pouring my double shot of espresso into the cup. Fill the cup with ice, bring up the coffee, fresh milk, half a cup, and this is my version of flat white for specialty coffee. Next, let's make our latte. For the latte, it's slightly different from a flat white because I am going to add my milk syrup. So let's make our latte mix first. I'll use the same measuring cup here. For this, I'm going to need about 20 milliliters of my milk syrup. This is just to add a little bit of sweetness into this drink. And then fill this to half a cup or 120 milliliters. Double shot of espresso into my cup here. Fill your cup with ice. Stir to bring up the coffee and also to make sure that the hot espresso is cooled down. Pour the sweetened milk over. This is my version of iced latte for specialty coffee. For our next drink is a cappuccino, so I'm going to have to make a milk foam. I'm using here an electric milk frother and we're going to froth this milk. Now let's assemble our cappuccino. For the cappuccino, it's the same. We are going to use two shots of espresso into my cup here, 15 ml of my milk syrup. The way you present your cappuccino, you just mix everything together. And then I'm going to add fresh milk, 75 ml. So note that I'm using less milk in a cappuccino because we're going to fill the cup with milk foam. Give it a stir to combine the ingredients together. Fill your cup with ice. And then we are going to scoop our milk foam on top. And finish it off with sprinkles of chocolate powder. 
So this is my version of iced cappuccino for specialty coffee. Macchiato, I'm going to put the ice first. Pour my double shots of espresso over. And then, all you have to do at this point is to just fill it to the top with milk foam. And if you're so inclined, you may also add some caramel sauce on top, making it a caramel macchiato or even chocolate sauce. If you're planning to make the switch from regular coffee shop to the third wave coffee, then I suggest you give these recipes a try. I'm going to start with my flat white. Now, how is it different from all the others? This is just the same double shot of espresso, but I didn't put any sweetener at all. So it's just milk. The texture would be lighter, just like a regular flat white. Let's give this a try. The color is just so good. It's a very, very strong espresso there. And, um, a little bit of milk. Mm. Well, this one is for those that like their coffee with ice, but um, not a lot of milk and also no sweetener at all. I would say I would probably have this on a daily basis. It's really good. Okay, now next one is similar to the flat white, but this time I added a bit of sweetener, just a little bit. Do not use a lot of sweetener for this type of coffee because you really would like to taste that flavor. The taste profile, taste notes of your coffee should be prominent and should stand out. Okay, latte. Now, I like this a little bit better because of that sweetener, it's satisfying. Okay, next it is the cappuccino. Now, the difference between the cappuccino and all the others, again, it is less milk with more milk foam and so um, the, the taste of the coffee should be stronger. Let's find out if it is. Okay. Mm. The aftertaste is the coffee. Nutty, a bit of chocolate taste, especially with that sprinkle of chocolate powder on top. And of course, that roasty almond taste at the end. Okay. And then finally, my macchiato. It should taste a lot stronger. Now let's find out. Wow, look at that color. Beautiful color. Mm, my god, that is very, very strong. Ah, I suppose I, I wouldn't call this for me, but um, it is perfect for those that like their coffee extra strong, even when iced. Okay, now my verdict for this, these are all very delicious drinks here. How good the taste is depends on how good your coffee beans are. But with specialty coffee, I would say they should all taste fabulous. But my favorite for this particular batch of drinks is the latte. I kind of like the little bit of sweetness there. Um, it just makes it more like a dessert for me. Well, there you go. Four classic iced coffee drinks, four specialty coffee. And these are the way that you should start serving your coffee drinks in your shops. Well, when I was in Europe, it is um, not quite surprising that none of those specialty coffee shops offer flavored drinks because what they're saying is that they want the taste of their coffee beans to come out rather than the flavors that are added to it. Although some coffee shops also offer something like um, caramel, macchiato, or vanilla latte, those are the more common iced coffee drinks. And also, because of the season, there were also coffee shops that, that were offering pumpkin spiced latte. Anyway, there you go. If you have any questions about these recipes, do let me know, comment below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Also check out my books, The Basic Barista and All Things Milk Tea. Details are now to order in the description box below. I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.